Um, personally, I really believe in this brand. I think Rihanna is doing such a smart move just launching her fashion brand, fashion label. Hi guys, it's me, Vince. I'm back with a new video and today I'll be talking about my visit to Fenty store in Paris. This was like a very short and very immersive experience. I'll get able to give you some additional details about everything that you need to know about this brand. So let's go into it. All right, so as you guys may already know, Fenty is the new brand that is established by Rihanna and LVMH, the French group, the French luxury group that is actually leading the world in terms of luxury standards. Um, the brand has been established for a week now and I was lucky enough to enter the pop-up store that is actually located in Le Marais, which is a very hype place in Paris. Um, I was there actually last Sunday and I've been back today with my friend because she literally begged for going together and she really wanted us to go together so of course I couldn't just like dumb her and say okay just go by yourself we'll go together so we've been there there were actually no queue outside we just went there very easy access you know and um so the first thing that we did together is that we we made a very small tour of the garments, the accessories, and all the products that you can buy from a Brianna's brand. So the first thing that is striking is the shoes. Um, she has a very, very nice uh, range of shoes. Uh, for all the shoes that we've seen, the stilettos and uh, you know the sandals that we've seen, they were all. I think for all of them. No, actually some of them were made of snake so it's python and for the rest it was um maybe some leather sandals very very nice very cute and the colors were very daring too but that's for the shoes i don't remember exactly the price but i think that um it was quite affordable like it's something that you can reach like for the millennials and for the new generation it's not really too expensive i think the price range is from 200 euros to 1000 200 something then after you guys you have strong pieces of the collection such as tailoring um, the parka in double side you know the double face and then you also have some skirts some denim jackets some 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 pants some caps and um, and some bum bags that are actually embedded in the in the suit ensemble I thought that was very smart from her to really like include street culture in tailoring culture in French couture um, with all the French couture codes and standards. I think that was a very smart move to do. Regarding the quality of the clothes, I think it was very soft and very smooth. From what you can see from the outside, it's very sensual and very senseless. It is meant to be worn by very strong women, very daring ladies that love actually to get the attention they deserve. Then after we also had the wonderful experience uh, of chit chatting with uh, one of the salesmen. And so he were actually giving us a little bit of very interesting details I would say regarding the position of the brand as a luxury brand today. And also, you know, regarding the strategy that Rihanna wants for her brand. So basically, Fenty is going to be a luxury brand, but the strategy of distribution is going to be disruptive because there is no fashion show for this brand. There is no ca like seasonal calendar for the collections. Uh, she's going to do what we call release. Um, so they're gonna be released every month. It's gonna be a monthly release So the collection will be dropped every month and you will be able to find them on the website, which is Fancy.com. However from what I've understood the website will be temporarily open for the new drops Which means that the collection is going to be very limited and if you really want to get one piece then you should get it like from the beginning like when the website is actually open you know that's how it works besides that you're gonna have ephemeral stores so ephemeral stores are gonna be open throughout many cities all over the place 
for the first launch it was Paris and Le Marais, but for for the next for the next collection here, for example, he said that uh, it's gonna be another city. We don't know yet which city is gonna be gracing Fenty's new collection. However, I can tell you guys that every drop is going to be associated with one city, and um, that's pretty much what we get to know today from from this conversation that we had with this um, very nice uh, salesman at Fenty. I hope all those details were very helpful for you guys. Um, personally, I really believe in this brand. I think Rihanna is doing such a smart move just launching her fashion brand, fashion label. Um, I'm so proud of her as a Caribbean person because I am from Caribbean islands, you know? As a Caribbean person, I am so proud of Rihanna. I'm so proud of everything that she's accomplished so far. And I think that Fenty is going to be such a huge success for my generation because my generation is very attached to being individualized and just, you know, being recognized as an individual that has a sense of fashion and a sense of self. And um, this is something that you really can see in her collection because every item of her collection are unisex, which means that they can be worn by ladies as they can be worn by gentlemen like me, you know. And um, I feel like it's such such a such a great opening on on fashion and the vision that fashion is going to have today. I think that um, the most important thing about her brand is the way she is inclusive and the way she is embracing culture, different cultures from all around the world and from all over, you know, from different perspectives, from from the street culture as to high fashion culture as to European culture. And also in the future, I'm pretty sure that she's going to encapsulate what Caribbean culture can, you know, can bring to the table in terms of fashion, um, idealism. So I am very much looking forward to see how the collection are going to evolve and how they're going to be criticized and 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 welcomed by by the experts and the fashion critique and, and the press and, and Vogue magazine, you know. But um, I am very, very confident about it and I feel like it's going to be such a super, like, disruptive move in fashion and she's gonna just write history for them, for the next one that's coming after her. I think necessarily that they're gonna be, there's gonna be a before and an after Fenty and, um, and I think Fenty is also like the epitome of what it means to be a designer today in the 21st century. Yeah, that's pretty much what I think and um, I cannot wait to see what's coming next. And of course, I'll be um, keeping up with you guys when I have very, very fresh news about Fenty. See you guys. <laughs>